what's up welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys just a really quick routine this really isn't like an everyday hair care routine it's more so for when i know i'm about to get a protective style like one that i have in now usually when i get braids i like to do a routine similar to this this video is in partnership with royal oils i've used royal oils before on my channel the last time i showed you guys these products i was using them with my faux locks style showing you how I maintain my hair while I have my protective styles in this time I wanted to show you guys which products I use and how I use them maintaining my hair before or after having a protective style protective styles are not the end-all be-all of growing out your hair and taking care of your hair so if you're not taking care of your scalp and you're not maintenancing your hair in between styles then you're not really going to see the results that you were looking for in order to protect your hair um this is not a hair tutorial just want you guys to know this is not a hair tutorial for this style this is just me showing you guys what i like to do in between protective styles to protect my hair these products the head and shoulders products are made specifically for african-american scalps okay they were created with your dandruff in mind, with your moisture needs in mind um, by black scientists. So they do work well for my hair type. Typically like to use products that have a lot of conditioning and moisture in them because I have very dry scalp and my hair is color treated. So I do end up getting dry ends. And if your hair and your scalp is dry, then you're not going to have the best conditions for your hair to grow out healthy and strong. Just because you have curly kinky hair does not mean that your hair won't grow it just means that you need to take a little bit more precaution to keep it moisturized and healthy so that it can retain the length my length does not retain when my hair is breaking off and breaking off happens when it's dry and fragile and that happens when my scalp is very very dry and my hair is very very dry in between getting protective styles i like to make sure that i deep condition really well make sure that i treat my scalp because i have very very dry flaky scalp and it will quickly ruin my styles just wanted to share that with you all hope that you guys enjoy this little routine that i like to do and i hope you learn something from it and i'll see you guys on the other side hey guys what's up so today i'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine. Um, I need to wash it. I'm getting ready to get a protective style. Um, probably gonna do braids. So I wanna show you guys how I prep my hair for my protective styles. I wanna make sure that my scalp is taken care of really well. People worry more about their ends than they do their scalp. And that's probably why your hair isn't growing the way you want it to because you're not taking care of it from the inside, right? So number one would be to take care of your body drink your water eat your vegetables mind your business if your hair is more prone to breakage when your scalp is not producing healthy hair remember that of course your ends are important too but scalp is most important one of the things i like to do before with washing and deep conditioning and all that stuff i like to just go through my scalp and get rid of all this buildup number one i have really bad dandruff but also a lot of this white is built up from gel and product. So I'm trying to be gentle. I'm trying to be gentle. I have a bad habit of being very rough with my hair and that is not a good thing. If this is gross for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm just lifting all that up. It will be nice and clean and ready for the moisture. One of the main questions I get is how did you grow your hair out? How does your hair grow so fast? I don't technically worry too much about the length of my hair i care more about the health of my scalp like i don't do anything out of the ordinary or specifically targeted to growing hair like i don't take any extra supplements for hair or i don't use any growth treatments or like secret there's no secrets to growing hair you just take care of yourself you take care of your hair and you take care of yourself and your hair will grow and i think it's a common misconception um that black women can't grow long hair. Curly hair is harder to grow because it, your hair is more prone to breakage. Especially me, I know my hair in particular around the front perimeter of my hair, my hair is very, very prone to breakage because it is finer. Um, some people's hair is stronger than others, especially if you're doing a lot of manipulation, if you're doing a lot of combing and product and just doing a whole lot to your hair, your hair is more likely to break off because you're putting too much tension on it so it's very important that you don't put a whole lot of tension on your hair be gentle with your hair 
and just try to keep it moisturized as much as possible. Your hair is like a plant. You don't just treat the leaves on a plant. You have to treat the roots too. Make sure your soil is damp, moist. If not, then your plant will die. That's because your roots aren't being taken care of. So you gotta take care of your roots. I think I've scraped up enough of my scalp. <laughs> my scalp needs to be extremely clean and extremely hydrated and moisturized because once those braids go into my head, I'm not washing my hair for weeks at a time. So my scalp needs to be in the best condition possible. Not only so that the style will last longer and it'll look better, but so that I'm not like leaving my scalp unattended to while I'm trying to grow my hair or protect my hair. Royal Oils Pre-Shampoo Buildup Remover. And it has micellar water in it. It pre-treats the scalp to break up buildup. It also contains coconut oil. And it just feels really good on the scalp. You can use this um, after like if you take down your braids or something, you have a lot of scalp buildup um, from products and things like that. I don't typically use a whole lot of product on my hair when I have protective styles but this is great for if you had like a lot of gel in your hair like I did when I was wearing my hair up in a ponytail it's just good to get all of that got to be and stuff out of your hair okay and then you just massage it into your scalp and as you can see my scalp is already loving that you can see my scalp is not dry anymore so I'm just massaging that in so my sound stopped working um, at this part, but I'm just gonna do a voiceover. Uh, this is water activated scalp scrub, and this is um, a way to remove extra buildup, dry flakes, dry patches, things like that. I'm dampening my hair because normally you would do this in the shower after you wet your hair, um, but I like to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm parting my hair and making sure that I'm getting each dry patch and things like that. So you just put it on your scalp and you're gonna massage it in and give your scalp a gentle scrub. This scrub is not really, really abrasive at all. You don't want to do too much scrubbing and scratching and irritating the scalp because if you have sensitive scalp it's gonna burn when you wash your hair so just try to be gentle with your hair and your scalp while still invigorating it and getting rid of that buildup okay so I rinsed my hair off <clears throat> and kind of washed out that scalp scrub I'm gonna go in with the deep moisture mask and focusing more on the middle to the ends of my hair where my hair has been colored and because my hair is color treated you know I tend to wear my hair straight a lot I kind of need condition whenever my hair feels like it needs it you can use a denman brush or something to comb it and brush it through um, but I just like to use my fingers typically I have nails so that kind of counts so now I'm just gonna take all my hair up but I'm just gonna put mine in one big ponytail I saw this trick on um, Joyja on her Instagram, if you guys follow Joyja. I saw her do this. She uses plastic wraps, so that's what I'm gonna do. Boom, you gotta get nice and hot. I'm gonna take a shower cap. And then, because I'm super extra, I'm gonna put another shower cap on top of it so that the heat really stays trapped up in there. So I'm gonna take this shower cap. This is a shower cap. I'll link it below. This one's cuter. And then I'm just gonna let that sit for a couple hours, maybe like two hours, and then I will wash it out later. So I've been letting my hair decondition for about three hours now. It's been a while. I took the shower cap off and put this on because this was really holding in the heat a lot better. I forgot I had one of these, so I just went and threw it on. Don't remember where I got it from though, sorry guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off now. What it looks like, I mean, it's not gonna look like anything. Yeah, I was having a hard time keeping this from sliding back. I'm just gonna go ahead and just slide this on up. It's my little head mold. I'm just gonna wash out this product, um, put in a leave-in conditioner, um, and then I will come back and show you guys what I will do before I blow dry. All right, so I just hopped out the shower. My hair is very, very soft. And as you can see, like some of the straight pieces that like they look really, really straight um, beforehand, now they are a little, got a little more curl to them. The curl pattern's kind of bouncing back. So usually when I can see that, happening that's how I know my hair has been well hydrated because these straight pieces typically are not that curly now I'm going to brush through all this and blow dry before I do that I'm going to put a little bit of this 
uh, Seal and Prep Moisture Milk. Seals in fleck protection. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my scalp before I start blow drying and that way when I do blow dry, the heat kind of lets it um, sink into my scalp. I'm just gonna like put it in my fingers and just like fill for the areas that I typically get dry and flaky first, which is like the middle of my head. I get flaky here in the front. So I'm just gonna put some there. This could also be used while you're, if you braid your hair at home, if you do your own hair and you braid your hair or do protective styling yourself. If you um, are parting your hair, this would be helpful to put on your parts as well. So now that I've kind of applied that to my scalp, this is the bro dryer I use. This one is from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it down below, but it's a Conair Infinity, I think, Infinity Pro Conair, something like that. It has a comb attachment on it, so that's why I like to use this one. Now that my hair is getting a lot longer, I do like to section my hair and blow dry. I need a little bit more control, so. And that is it for my blowout. I will show you guys the finished product of what my hair looks like in the morning. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you guys wanna check out any of the Head & Shoulders Royal Oils line, I will have all the information about where you can find it down below. I will also be sure to put links as well. If you don't take care of your scalp and your hair before and after you get your protective styles, your protective styles won't do anything. Make sure you're taking care of your hair guys. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, stay in the house, and I'll see you guys in my next video.